The next one Jesus was well known to say, and I like to again paraphrase this one, unless you are born again of the Spirit, ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. What did he mean by this? He meant by it what I am saying. Now let me give you an interesting parallel. According to the Indian tradition, the three higher castes of Hindus are called twice born, Dujanma. You see, the highest caste is Brahman, the second caste is the warrior class, known as Chhatris, the third class is the business class, known as Vaishas, the fourth class is the servant class, known as Shudras. Out of the four classes, the first three are considered to be and designated as the twice-born. And the sacred thread which they wear, all the three upper classes, is a symbol of this possibility of another birth. And what does this birth mean? I will explain to you. Now, as I was saying, in answer to your previous query, the normal human brain is limited. It can only express or perceive a certain limited area of consciousness. In order to enable it to take the leap into cosmic consciousness, a change in the brain is necessary. And this change does not affect the brain only, but the whole biological system of a human being. This change is known as the second birth, because years are spent in affecting this change. And the same energy which had created a human being in the embryo from a small seed again starts to work to refashion the body and to remodel the brain until a new type of consciousness is perceived. So what Christ meant was this rebirth caused on the awakening of the Holy Spirit or divine power in man. Once this power is aroused, it circulates in the body. It is known in the Chinese books as the circulating light. It circulates as a light and it refashions the internal organs and the brain until one reaches a state of awareness where all is bathed in light and consciousness. So Christ was referring to this metamorphosis which is the natural result of the awakening of this Kundalini or the serpent power. And Without this rebirth, brain cannot attain the kingdom of heaven. People who meditate often think that they have certain visions and they have reached a higher dimension of consciousness. But more often than not, that is a delusion. Because the first effect of reaching a higher state of consciousness is to transcend the limits of human knowledge. Man must then be able to say things that are not known in his time. He must make another limit. He must reach another frontier. Therefore, in most cases, these visions are not the answer. What Christ refers to is the glorious inner life which transforms you from head to foot inwardly and makes a semi-god out of a puny human being who for the first time realizes his sovereign immortal nature. For this purpose, a rebirth is necessary and that rebirth implies the ascent of Kundalini and the transformation of the brain. It may take 10 years, it may take 15 years, it may even take 30 years. It is not a thing that can happen in one day.